Hi guys, uh, here's an update of what's going on. Um, I'm real close to coming up on my fourth uh, treatment of AC, which is the final treatment. Um, what we've noticed is there's a pattern of how I'm feeling four to five days out after the treatment. Um, last time I experienced uh, quite a problem with my digestive system, so I have learned since then how to keep myself regular. I'm doing my still cut oats every day, um, I'm eating pears, those are very good, and uh, my stool softener every night, indigestion, I get uh, my Tums, and making sure that uh, I'm keeping that all on track. So that's been helping me out, so I'm feeling really good. Um, on another note, I've been able to get out of the house a little bit more, and uh, one of the things I did a week ago was I went to my sister-in-law Karen's and made pierogies. That's something we get together every year um, with my in-laws and we uh, make those before Christmas and then freeze them so then they're ready for Christmas Eve. Good job, Mom. Thank you. So we'll have potato, cheese, sauerkraut. Uh-oh, you have a friend. Cabbage. And I got a little friend here. Get down, with sweetie. <laughs> get down. <laughs> Go on. Um, and... Uh, this has been all day. We've been here since about 11 this morning, I think. Yeah. And this is Shirley's recipe. Um, right, the dough is Shirley's recipe. It's actually my mother's recipe. Oh, your mom's recipe. My mother's okay. recipe. So, mm -hmm. grandma's recipe. Mm -hmm. And then we've been making them. I've been making these for 30, at least 30 years. Probably. And she's one of the best. <laughs> So even though I've been keeping my, myself away from people because my immune system's been compromised while being on this chemo, um, I have seen a few more family members than usual. I was able to Skype with my sister Donna this week. Well, I just came in the house. I was outside and we've been working outside. Oh. Um, trying to box some of our logs in the house. Oh, okay. It's getting too cold. The clock was, you know, it, it's got to be uh, 40 and above. Oh, yeah. And right now it's just at 40 oh. and it's cold and you got to use water, you know, it's, my hands are frozen. And, oh, yeah. I was also able to talk to Elliot through Skype. Um, Elliot, my nephew, just moved to North Carolina recently and um, we talked about movies and podcasts and uh, different things that he's doing out there. And so he was so cute to uh, see on Skype. I enjoyed that because we've been texting, but uh, the Skyping was, was pretty cool. And then um, the other day, just out of nowhere, came this Kindle Fire, which is awesome. My sister-in-law Maria and her husband Wayne have been really generous throughout my whole, whole experience here. So now I can use this. I've got my, um, my library books and uh, my email and everything. So when I go up to the, oh, and I got Candy Crush on there too. Um, <laughs> when I go up to the hospital, I can sit and uh, use this through, go on the, uh, the um, Wi-Fi up there. So it's pretty cool. Um, and then yesterday, I was able to go out. We had quite an excursion yesterday, which was cool. And we're headed over to see the girls. Karen, uh, Rachel, and Lori uh, picked up the girls, Nadine and Zoe. And we're going to meet over at um, Petrofine Springs to kind of hang out. I just need to see those little sweethearts because I miss them. <laughs> I can't take kisses, but I can take hugs, okay? Okay. Oh, I love you girls. I miss you so much. Oh my gosh, I miss you. You're getting Here. so big. One of the worst things about going through chemotherapy has been not seeing my great nieces Nadine and Zoe. For the past two years, I was babysitting for them on Tuesday nights. So we would always have so much fun um, doing homework and ha making dinner. We'd make dinner together and then I put them to sleep. And uh, for the ma past month and a half, I have not been with them because my uh, immune system has been so low. Yeah. Want to see? <laughs> oh, we want to see. She looks so pretty. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you want to feel it? You can feel my head. Feel her head. Feel your hair. <laughs> We can make it long in the back. Yeah, there you go. Long. Now you have it's like, like a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> now look, oh, let's get it. Let's stop. Oh, oh, my God. Look at that. Look cute on you. Oh, very nice. Because of your you blue like eyes. Fashion fashion model. Model. I bet you that would look good on Zoe, too. Let me see the picture. <laughs> what do you do? Huh? It's going to do it very high. Oh, that is high. You're very high up there. You're almost to the sun. Sky moving. 
The sky's moving? Yep. I did three things. Go back in front of me. That's my first thing. Where am I? Right there. I don't see mine. It's right there. Better put it in. Don't drop it. What's your name? Zoe. How'd you get up there? Is it deep or just shallow? Well, look. You tell me, is it deep? Shallow. It's shallow, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's like fish in there, or muskrat, I think. A beaver. I think there's beavers in there. Well, I see a fish. What, you saw one? Yes. A big one? Yes. Oh. Should we catch it and eat it? Nah. <laughs> it's a Uncle, wheel. Yeah, but Uncle Barry catches the fish and we eat them. We love them. Wheel? Yes, those are real fish that he catches and we eat. There's, I know there's a fake spider web over here. A spider web? A fake yeah, one? I went over here. My teacher said that looks like a spider web all the way out here. Huh. There's a bunch you of just gotta find black them. walnuts I'm seeing on the ground here. Yeah. See yeah. right there, the big balls? Yeah, you know those balls you're throwing? That's Kinda, yeah. Yeah, the teacher's picking them up and they don't know what they are. Yeah, it's black walnut. There's a nut inside of it. I better tell my teachers because they don't know what that is. Oh, I think it's up that way. No, it's not. Zoe had been to this park recently on a field trip with her school, and uh, they found a clearing where a tree had fallen, and they were all climbing on it. So she wanted to show us where this area was, and she kept calling it her space. And she was so desperate for us to see it that um, she didn't realize that we were approaching the area from, like, a different direction. This is my space. It is, isn't it? See? Where? She found it. This is your space. What is that? That's a house. Somebody lives there. No, I don't think so. I mean, this is my space. They don't live in the park. See, I told you I have a big space. It can't be like over there. Right. You found it. Big tree with fell down. Yeah, this is my space. So it probably you just fell over because it gets so old. The the, the ground gets it's wet. Yeah. That's our cousin Tom. Yeah. He's you out here, right here. here. This is Tom. Right here. He's taken <laughs> he's taken um, pictures of people. He's a photographer. Yeah. He's got a client over here, huh? Is that a client or well, relative? they're friends of mine. Oh, friends. Yeah, okay. and they wanted some pictures taken. Okay, all right. So, cool. Good. Good to see all you Funny guys. That, yeah, it's I wouldn't expect it. She's telling you it's picture day. Yeah, it's picture day. <laughs> <laughs> picture day. Picture day. Picture day. Picture day. That's a wig on her. I don't have a wig now. No, I took it off. Remember, it was too hot. I get sweaty. But yeah. um, how did you but how do you like that? Oh no! They won. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were a bear fan. Yeah. All your years down there in Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> you be quiet. There was a teacher who had uh, breast cancer at uh, Greenwood School, mm -hmm. and. She had the first round, and she came back, and she had a wig on, but it was a real short wig. Yeah. And she took it off when she was in class because she was too hot, and I had too hot. And she, I get this picture of her, all the students, like all gathered around. Like, there had to be thirty of them, all with their hands on her head. And I ended up winning an award for that. A oh, that's cool. award. Yeah. Are you going to interview Aunt Lori? You're going to ask her about her surgery? So what did you have done? What did you do? I had a meniscus and a cartilage repair done in my knee. Mm. They were torn. Do you think it hurt? Yes. It Did it hurt? Very painful. Mm. And you have a bug on your head. Oh, you <laughs> I got it though. <laughs> I guess I'll go and check in the house and stuff. You're going to check the house? Fire. Woo! It's windy. See the fire in the house? Fire in the house! Fire! Dance. I'm supposed to dance? Dance to what? Dun dun! Dun dun! Jump! I know! 
buy a smoothie and cupcakes. Um, wait, I give you my number. Smoothie and cupcakes. Number five. Smoothie number five. five. Okay, when you call it. Smoothie and cupcakes. Five is ready. Five oh. is ready. Smoothie cupcakes. Smoothie. So the fourth and final round of AC is right around the corner. And uh, then after that, I go on to 12 treatments of Taxol, which I guess is going to be a little easier to handle. Um, that's what everyone's been telling me. So I am looking forward to that. Um, I do appreciate all of your comments and emails and everyone tuning in. I love all you guys.